Ah, a new home is built. Well, kind of home anyway. Now to go out into the world and... Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. Hello, my friends. Black and Rose here. And uh, in an aim to mix up the format a little bit, this is a Let's Talk. Except that the Let's Talk is actually going to be a live play from me in Minecraft Feed the Beast the Monster uh, mod pack. Oh, a node. Hmm. Which uh, consists of approximately 200 mods, all clustered in one pack, consisting of magic, uh, blood rituals, and ele uh, electricity, machinery, and a whole heap of other things. Oh, what the hell is that thing over there? Anyways, this is going to be a Let's Talk and it might be interrupted a little bit with what's going on in the game. This is actually uh, one of my own saves I'm messing with, a new one that I've started up. Uh, but anyway, this Let's Talk uh, came to mind because I received a message recently from one of my uh, one of my subscribers, or one of my favourite subscribers I might add, one of my favourite ones, and it was to do with relationships. And it got me thinking. Well, for one, why anyone would ask me about relationships? Because I haven't, I don't have a stable one. Um, but also, it just got me thinking: what do we do when relationships go wrong? And it's not a lead up to a bad, uh, a bad documentary, like when uh, when holidays go wrong or when sharks go bad or something like that, or crocodiles on a plane. Did anyone see that news item? Anyway, I'm wandering off the point. Um, the purpose of this let's talk is going to be on dealing with. Uh, a failed relationship and yeah okay so being someone who's been through some interest uh, in interesting scenarios myself regarding that hence the fact that I'm still single uh, excuse me mouse is playing up <laughs> I have a few little tips for people who have suffered a breakup now in all honesty dealing with a breakup is it's very it's a very personal thing. There is no universal way of dealing with it because it's all going to be down to circumstances. And the circumstances vary between individuals. So no one has gone through exactly the same thing that you've gone through. There will be similarities, but no one no nobody has gone through exactly the same thing that you have. Oh, I found an apple. So sometimes people will say you need to do this, you need to do that, but in actual fact that may not benefit you at all. And I don't have a sword. Anyway. The point I'm going to with this is... I think the first thing you need to do is think uh, think about the situation you're in. I mean, there are, va there are variations. There's uh, things from sim uh, uh, simple try and, um, try and fail sort of situations. Which is essentially, you ask someone, um, you basically say to someone that you love them, and but they don't love you back, and then you have to deal with that. Those, that's one kind of situation, and then that goes all the way to the extremes of like marriages breaking up, and that's a, a massive extreme at that point. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to lost love or failed love, and that's the that's the main differenti differenti differentiating point here is how to cope with that. I think the best thing to remember is that it's not always it's not always you and it's not always them it's a combination of the two usually either one uh, one can't handle one thing or one can't handle another or circumstance gets in the way or a certain event triggers something and my frame rate is starting to lag a little bit yeah I'm gonna go look at that thing later anyways I think the I, I think the idea that people need to remember is is that a relationship is based on two individuals and it's based on how well those two individuals gel together how well they get on together and all of that now if there is something between two people that doesn't match then that's where friction can occur and if there's too much friction guess what happens you get heat and you get and things grind away 
It's like um, it's like gears without enough lubricant. If they if they keep grinding together without any lubricating oil, there they start to grind and wear away. Now, the biggest thing there is is that if a relationship breaks down, it's usually because something is not right in the relationship, and that can lead to one of two things: either it's dealt with and resolved, or it can't or it doesn't get dealt with and resolved and continues on. And then it comes down to the point of can a relationship survive like that? I think the answer to that is it's down to individuals. But anyway, that's focusing on why relationships break up and that's not what I wanted to get into. I think the biggest thing to remember is you need you need time to yourself to work out yourself Oh hello. Oh god that's a treant. Excuse me. That's an ent. I just need to deal with this, uh, this, this, um, idiot. There we go. Okay, so, sorry for that interruption. But, I think the biggest thing to remember is, like I say, take time for yourself, and have, and like, really, just take some time for yourself to think about, um, the situation. I mean, a lost relationship isn't the end of everything, and that's the first thing to remember. It's not the end of everything. Things still go on. Um, even though, whoa, those are new ones. Um, uh, relationships still, no, <laughs> I'm slowing off my train of thought now. Uh, a relation, um, just because a relationship has stopped does not mean it's the end of the world. It obviously meant that there was something not right in that relationship. It wasn't the right relationship. Now, if one or another person does something that leads to that breakup, again, something wasn't right. And I think that's something to bear, uh, to bear in mind. Now, here's another here's another question. Would you prefer to be in a relationship that's wrong and cause you lots of stress and sorrow, or would you prefer to be uh, to be single, really, or wait for a period until you find someone who is a better match? Now, this is the ultimate question because. I've spoken to people before who like get really afraid of being alone, and I worry about that because people who are afraid of being alone are generally people who will accept anything just to be in a relationship, and that can be really nasty things. I mean, I've 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 heard some really nasty stories that go on with um, abusive relationships, and it's horrible. And the first thing I just want to say to people is get out of that relationship because it's not right for you. It's not healthy. Um. But yeah, I'm wandering off the point there. So coping, coping with the loss, best thing to do, take time for yourself and just have a real think about things. You don't have to go out there and try and find another relationship straight away. In fact, I highly recommend you don't because it's what I call uh, being on the rebound. Because when you're in such a state where you've just had a breakup, there's a strong possibility that you're going to want to feel that feeling you had when you had a relationship, and it probably means you're going to latch on to uh, just about anybody to have that feeling again, and that's dangerous because that leads to um, the wrong kind of relationships, the the dangerous ones, essentially. Take some time to yourself, but also be comfortable with yourself. Uh, be comfortable in yourself. No, sorry, that sounded a little bit wrong. But be comfortable with yourself, and take time for yourself to feel comfortable with yourself. I mean, it could it could be a day, weeks, months, however long however long you need. And basically, take as long as you need. Find those people who you trust, who you who care about you, who you really get on with, and spend a bit of time with them. Talk to pe uh, talk to them. That's a good thing as well. Find friends you can talk to. And then from there, don't go through the blame... Try to avoid going through the blame game. Try not to just blame yourself for everything going wrong, because it's not just about you. It's A relationship is a two... Um, is a two-person thing. It takes two to tango. And I think the biggest thing to remember in all that is... It's not all just you. If a situation occurred, there was gem there are most likely reasons why that occurred. And I think that's what you've got to remember. Th um, there are reasons why these things happen. 
And there'll, there'll be people who say, like, he or she was, like, the one, and now I've lost her, my life is over. No. First, first and foremost, no. Your life was is not over, and they were not the one. And I can tell you why. Because if they were the one, relationship wouldn't have broken up. The so-called one that people refer to a lot is the person you are, is generally the person who you're most comfortable with and is most comfortable with you as well. It's not all about what one person feels, it's about what both people feel. On to actual advice that I can give people. I suppose the best advice that I can give to people is don't give up. Just because a relationship broke up or you go through a breakup of your own doesn't mean it's the end. You may find that later down the line uh, said person may become... No, in fact, actually, I'm not going to go down that line because that, that opens up a, another can of worms because I was about to go down the line of a breakup doesn't mean the end of the relationship with that person forever because it may start up again. But I'm not going to go down that route because then that leads on to uh, denial. And I'm not going to go down that route. Except what has happened um, because the longer you deny it, the longer it takes you to recover from it. Accept what has happened, because you cannot change the past, but you can change the future. You, there are, I mean, a lot of people I run into who have um, relationship difficulties are good people. They're decent people, and all I think is is that you will find someone. There is someone out there for you. There's someone out there for me, most likely if they can put up with me, which is probably unlikely, but I'll move on to that another day. And if you have, if you're unsure about something, ask someone you care about. And one thing I will do is, if people ask me something, I will give an honest opinion, and I will give uh, whatever advice I can. Take, uh, take what you want out of it, essentially. My advice is not gospel. I think, and... If, if you take anything out of um, what I say, brilliant. I hope it uh, benefits you in a great way. But if what I have is not useful to you, then that's fair enough. It might be useful to somebody, it might not. But a way to put this together, it, it goes hand in hand with my coping with loss, death. And it, it bo boils down to one thing, is give yourself time. Don't give up on life. Because there, how many people are out there in the world? There's billions of people out there in the world. Just because uh, you had a relationship break, uh, relationship breakup with one of them, doesn't mean you're going to have a relationship breakup with all of them. There are lots of good people out there, and uh, many of them have subscribed to my channel. So there are there are a lot of good people out there. Just give yourself time. And I'm not going to go into how to cope with relationship difficulties because that is a different circumstance. But only you know how you feel. And that's something to always remember is only you know how you feel. No one can tell you how you feel. And people can give you advice like I'm doing right now, but no one can tell you what to do. Okay, so I'm going to end this here, but I'm going to summarise my points, which sort of waffled on a little bit. Firstly, if you've had if you've had a relationship breakup, I'm very sorry for the pain you will probably be going through, and it's a very pain. It can be a very painful time, uh, in varying degrees based on how people feel and the circumstances behind it. But the first thing to remember is don't just blame yourself. There's it's not a, and it's not a case of blaming people. It's just something 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 didn't work. And if you can go in, it's if you can go into a relationship, give it a good try, and it fails. At least you gave it a good try, and you tried. That's the big thing: is you tried. And if it didn't work, it didn't work. That sometimes life is cruel like that. But there's there are other people out there. One person does not encompass the entire world. And you may, many of you may be lucky out there to have found the right person for you. And I wish you all the best. If you have a relationship and it's working, brilliant. Don't give up on it. 
give it a go and give it your best. If you encounter difficulties, try to work things out, give it your best, but also, yeah, just, just give it your best. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But don't don't try and play the blame game. Accept what has happened in the past and and give yourself time to move on. And the amount of time it takes to move on will vary from individual to individual. There is no uniform way. It may take some people a day. It may take some people a year. Uh, I went through a situation at one point and it took me months to get over. And I'm still getting over um, a, a loss of a family member. It's horrible. But I will get over it. And these are growing weeds. I don't want them to grow weeds. I want them to grow seeds. Stupid things. Anyways. I've waffled on quite a bit now. But give yourself time. Try it. Uh, just do what you can. To cope with the situation. And. Just give, you, give yourself time. Speak with people. And just do your best. Uh, if, pe if anyone wants to. Ask something in the comments section. Or send me a message, feel free to, and I will give honest answers as best I can. I am not a relationship counsellor, I am not the master of relationships, I'm just giving my point of view. And I want to give people some advice who are dealing with that kind of situation right now. This is not about fixing a relationship, this is coping with after a relationship has broken up. And, yeah, there you go. So, I hope you find this useful. This is uh, Feed the Beast, uh, the monster mod pack. Uh, if you want me to do um, Let's Plays of this, let me know in the comments section. Uh, this was recorded a while... This, depending on the situation at the time, this may not go up straight away. But I want to hold on to this one because I think this holds a powerful message. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching me. I'm Black and Rose, and I will see you in, the next, uh, in my next clip. Take care, my friends. Oh, whoops.